Hello everyone. So today's experiment is entitled Determination of Ionization Constant of a Weak Acid. So a strong acid we know fully dissociates into the hydrogen ions and the respective anions. And but for the weak acids we know that it partially dissociates. That means that equilibrium we have more concentration of the undissociated acid compared to the concentration of species of the hydrogen ions and the, um, and the anion species. And therefore, in today's experiment, um, the, the lecture will go into the details of determining the dissociation constant, but we are going to take pH measurements, which should give us the hydrogen ion concentrations at equilibrium. And with that, we can use the equation, um, the anderson hasselbach equation that will relate the concentration of species at equilibrium and the hydrogen ion concentration to give us the ionization constant. So we will go ahead and take 50 milliliters of our unknown solution. So we know that each acid has a associated or its unique um, ionization constant. And so um, we will take in a non solution, and once we take the different pH measurements um, from the different concentrations of the solutions we will make, we will be able to determine a Ka value. And once we have that Ka value, then we are going to compare with what is known so that we can try to identify our unknown substance. So we are taking a non number four and 50 milliliters of that, and I'm just going to put this in in this um, beaker here. And once I have this, I will want to take the volume of sodium hydroxide. So we have an acid and a base, and we know what happens when we have an acid and base. They are going to neutralize to form water. And so I will take 10 milliliters of 0 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide, add it to my weak base, I mean weak acid, and I'm going to take the pH measurement for that. And I will keep doing that until I have um, until I have added a total of 40 milliliters of the sodium hydroxide. So let's begin with the 10. Alright, here's my 10 ml of sodium hydroxide. I will add it to the weak acid and I'll mix it. And then I will take my pH probe that has been calibrated following the steps in the appendix for calibration and just use it to obtain the pH measurement of this solution. So I'll also occasionally take the temperature readings of my solution because we know that the um, equilibrium const constant is, a, um, is dependent on temperature and concentration of species. And I will record the temperatures at maybe two or three different times in my experiment and take an average of that temperature. So after I added 10 milliliters of sodium hydroxide, I have a pH of 4.34 units. And so I'll add 5, five ml this time around.
do the same thing, obtain the pH reading. Take my initial temperature reading. So we have reached the end of our experiment having the pH measurements for all the um, up to 40 milliliters of sodium hydroxide and we also have two temperature readings. So when you receive these values you should be able to calculate the concentration of each species and that should help you find the concentration of the species at equilibrium and that should also help you find the ionization constant for a um, week. Um, acid and also determine the identity because it's an unknown number four.